What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're in RPG Maker VX Ace. We're going to do another tutorial. This episode's going to be about making interesting skills. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to make a healing skill for the first one and we're going to call it Divine, uh, Divine Light. And this is going to have a nice graphic. Let's pick one really quickly. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's the standard healing one. We'll go ahead and go with that. <clears throat> We're going to go to damage type and select HP recover and the element we could leave it none or we could put it uh let's make it a holy one. You know what? I made a new element called fusion. I'm just going to call it fusion. You could select whatever one you want. It won't matter unless you give your characters uh your actors um or the classes um like a uh, certain element resistance like for example if you gave him a piece of armor that has like 50% holy resistance and then you have a holy element healing spell, when you cast that healing spell on that that class, then it's going to only recover half of the, the HP that it would. So you have to keep in mind what elements you're resisting. So um, it's also good to create a new element for that particular purpose. So we're going to, um, in, in order to do that, you would just go over to uh, terms under elements, change the maximum by one and then name that and then you can create uh, healing spells or whatever kind kind of abilities so for this we're gonna create a fusion it's just one I created and for the formula we'll go ahead and click on quick and we're gonna say 100 and then we're it's not gonna be a physical we're gonna select magical and we'll just go 100 magical and we're gonna ignore target defense because it's a healing one so we don't need to have a resistance check so this is gonna be a standard 100 plus um, your the casters magic attack times two and you can increase this more. This is going to actually, I'm going to increase, increase this more. We're going to say 200 magical. So this is going to be four times their magic attack plus 100. And we're going to say this can critical because getting a critical hill is always, uh, it's always fun, especially when it's like clutch moment. You're in a boss battle and your, your HP is down to like a hundred and you know, your max HP is 2000 and you get that critical heal and it really makes a difference. So variance, we're going to say, okay, 25% just to give it a, a higher maximum uh, heal. So how you would make a, a HP recovery different and not so boring where it's just restores HP is you add effects to it. So we're going to right click on effects, go to edit, and we're going to say this is this uh, when it's cast it's going <clears> to <throat> add a state. So what we're going to do is give it uh, an HP regen effect. So it's going to be a 100% chance to HP regen. So when you cast it for sure, you're going to get an HP regen state. So not only is it going to uh, give you that instant boost of HP, it's going to help you throughout the fight later on. But that's not all it's going to do. We're going to have it, uh, add another effect. We're going to say remove debuff. Now this is going to be an interesting skill because it's going to be <clears throat> a healing spell, but it's going to take TP. So what we're going to do is have this remove a debuff um, where's this? Uh, remove state. So we're going to go to state tab, we're going to remove state, and we're going to remove silence 100%. So the idea behind this one is if you're up, you have a caster, you're going to give him this TP ability that removes silence. So if he gets silenced, he or she gets silenced, then you can use your TP to remove your silence and then go back to casting. So that's the idea behind this one. Um, and we're going to give it a quick descrip uh, description so the player knows what it does. Restores. HP comma adds a regen or we could just say adds regen and removes silence and for continuity we'll just capitalize certain uh, names we're gonna say this is not a this is not a magic spell this is a, a special or in my case I just renamed special to skill and magic to, to key and we're going to say it's going to take 20 TP. Let me see. It's going to, it's going to add two effects, and it's a decently powered heal. So we don't want it to be too um, too cheap. We want it to be sort of kind of hard to – a little expensive. You have to get a little bit of TP. So 25, 20 or 25 seems fine. I'm going to go with 25 because it, it's adding regen. And it's so uh, 25 TP is a quarter of your TP bar. That seems about right. But plus, if you're, you're going to use this on a caster, he's – he or she's probably not going to be using their TP on many other skills, so they're going to have some TP to spend. 
um, the scope we want it to be ally one ally or we can have it uh, you know what what we're gonna do is set it to the user so divine light is a self cast because um, it's up to you your preference I'm gonna say one ally that way I can cast it on other uh, other members of the party and we'll say always since it's always it's good to have a uh, healing abilities that you can use out of combat and success rate we'll just leave that at 100 percent and but we're gonna make it a magical attack animation we're gonna select an animation but we're gonna go to uh, animations and we're gonna quickly make our own custom animation just because I wanna make some custom skills here that are just not so cookie cutter so we'll take a quick look that looks okay I like that one I like that one too. <clears throat> wow, that one looks kind of cool. So we're going to take recovery three. We're going to copy that. Go down. If you don't have an empty space, click change maximum. Add to that. So you have an empty space. Paste that there. We're going to edit this a little bit. So the screen flash. Um, we'll just uh, increase the strength of that, and then we're going to take away a little more of the red. No, let's let's go a little more of the green. So it's like a purple. The Saint uh, sound effect, let me see, that sounds kind of cool, but we're going to change that up just a little bit. So we'll start that one, um, Starlight, we change the pitch up so it doesn't last too long. That's going to be on frame one, and then we have a bunch of flashes, we're just going to change the colors a little bit. So this is going to be green to, um, it does different things, so we're going to make one flash that does red, we'll say that's going to signify the regen, the green will get rid of the silence, and this is just all flavor stuff, and you can edit this however you want. We're basically just making it uh, different from the stock, so we're changing it. We're also going to add another uh, sound effect on frame 11, and this is going to be... Find one you like. You could just go down. don't want it to sound like it's a, a, a blow or an attack, more something like. Like that sounds good. <clears throat> but I use this one in a lot of skills. So. What if we? Yeah, flash three sp to maximum pitch will work. And we're also going to flash the target on that last one, a bright white. All right. So now was it? still looks the same, it just sounds a little different. And that little flash th 3 sound effect doesn't really fit on frame 11, so we'll just change, change that a little bit. Okay, that'll work. We're also going to make it go like on frame 8 or something. You can barely notice it, but sometimes the subtle changes are what make it good. You don't want it to stand out too much. Obviously, if you wanted to stand out, you could just make it like a horse sound or a scream or something, but you're going to, you got to account for how many times you're going to be using this skill and how fast are you going to get sick of hearing hearing that same effect so change the the hue it's sort of the same but it's a uh, um, it's a little bit different so that's basically subtle changes and we're going to just name this the name of the skill Dinve? no no divine light Okay, that seems to be fine. So now we'll go back to our skills. We'll go ahead and select that animation that we just customly created. <clears throat> and then we're going to say casts. Or actually, it's going to be a TP move, so we'll say uses. And that should be about it. I think that would work. Now we just need to assign this to a class. We're going to go to our uh, Spirit Dancer class. You could put it on whatever class you want. And we're going to say we got a one, level 1 skill, level 5, level 7, level 15. We'll say at level... 18, but for, for the testing purposes, we're going to award this skill at level, level 1 just to test it out. And then um, you can uh, change this to whatever you want later on down the line. So uh, what I want to do now is just test the skill. So we don't actually have to start the game for that. What we can do is go to our troops and then battle test. We click on battle test to make sure that we have a spirit dancer and Mia in our in this case is a spirit dancer so she's level one here we should be able to uh, use our skill right here okay, we're just gonna guard with that one until we get to Mia 
Alright, there she is. Let's go to our skill. Divine Light. Oh, she's gonna need some DP first. So, in order to test it, what we're gonna do is go to the skills and set the TP cost to zero. And then we'll go battle test it again. Oops, battle test. Okay. Nice, we went first. So Divine Light. And then we get a select because we, we chose uh, one ally. Boom, so she got regen. And then if she was silenced, she would no longer be silenced. And it did a nice heal. Cool. So what we'll do is just go back to our skill and change that to, we'll say 20 actually. 20 might be more uh, useful. But that's going to do it for this. That's how you can uh, create custom skills that aren't really boring and uh, do more than one thing. <clears throat> Obviously, you can have a whole list of things, but you do want to take into consideration balance. Like, if you wanted to make a skill, a TP skill that costed 100 TP, you might have like five or six effects that it does. Like, you can even do one that adds a state. Like, we can go down to the states tab and say, uh, create a new state right here. This will take a little bit longer but you can uh, specify what happens when you change the state. Like we can say, okay, now our hit rate is increased or evasion or something is increased. I've actually created a few skills uh, that do that. So this is a, a, a skill called Flood and what it does is it skills, it adds to a variable when you use it so that it, the skill constantly gets stronger because we're calling on that variable in the damage formula. But it also adds the soak state. So what the soak state does is it's going to reduce the enemy's magic defense to 90% of what it normally was. So approximately uh, m reducing the magic defense by 10% of your target. Also reducing magic evasion by 3%. <clears throat> so that's another thing you can do is add state to your skills. Um, but that'll do it for this video. That gives you a few ideas of what you can do to spice up your skills and make, things, uh, make them a little bit different from just, you know, you gain HP and it cost MP. Hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want more content like this. Appreciate all you guys, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.